Hi everybody, welcome back to reconvert. This is Eric and in today's video I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the reconvert post-purchase funnel editor. This is what an empty funnel looks like. If you wish to get back to the dashboard, click the back button at the top left corner of the screen. You can see the funnel name right next to it and you can rename it by double clicking the name. Let's call it my first funnel and click outside to save. There is the help video section here, which I'm guessing you're already watching right now. On the right side, you can see that this funnel is now a draft, which means it's not live on my store. You have an option to save it as a draft or publish, which means save and make it available on the store. Below that, you can see the expand view button. We're going to talk about this button very soon. And now let's talk about the funnel itself. The funnel starts when an order is being completed. The next step would be to pick a trigger. A trigger is basically a condition that will decide whether or not to display the offers and thank you pages in this funnel. In order to edit a trigger, just click the edit button. By default, triggers are set to all orders, but you can select different triggers from different areas of your store. It can be based on customer information, order details, product purchase data, or other options. I'll give you some examples from customer information. It can be anything from if the customer accept marketing or not, customer's birthday, customer note, email, first name, last name, number of orders, phone number, address, tags, revenue, etc. From order details, it can be anything from the address, the order total, discount, tax, fraud risk, refund value, fulfillment status, etc. Product purchase data, these are the actual products within the order. It can be anything from barcode, compared to price, price, collection, tags, titles, descriptions, etc. And other options like operating systems, browser, device, or numbers of impressions. It's important to mention that you can select multiple and or conditions. Let's say that I want to display this funnel only if the customer bought a specific product and only if it was the second purchase for that customer. Let's set it up together. First, let's pick product purchase data, then select specific product. And let's say that I only want to display this if at least one product in the order is, and let's pick this product, for example. Now, the second condition is we would like it to also be the second order for that customer. Let's select customer information, number of orders is exactly two. Now, for the sake of the example, I'm just gonna get it back to all orders because I want to display this funnel always. And let's close the trigger. The next step would be to add an offer, you can either add a thank you page or an upsell after the order was completed. We highly recommend to add upsells before you display the thank you page. In some payment methods, you can only display one upsell and for different payment methods, you can display up to two different upsell offers and only then the thank you page. Let's start by adding an upsell. If you've created any offers before, you're going to see here a list of all the offers you've created so you can reuse them in different parts of the funnel or in different funnels. But since I didn't create any offers yet, I just have the option to create a new offer. Once I've clicked the create a new offer button, the offer editor is going to open up in a new pop-up. Since this is not a tutorial about the offer editor, I'm not going to explain each part in details. If you wish to learn more about the offer editor, just click the help video button here and we will tell you everything you need to know. I'm just going to change the name of this offer to my first upsell. I'm going to select a specific product. Let's just select the first product in the store. I'm going to set up a discount of 20% in case the customer wish to purchase it right after he completed the purchase. And in the timer, I'm just gonna change the design a little bit. I'm gonna hit save and I'm going to close the offer editor. As you can see, the upsell offer was now added to my funnel as an upsell. If I hover over the top area, I'm going to see my offer name. And if I hover over the middle area, I'm going to see the product title. By clicking this arrow, I can expand the offer to see a little bit more details. I'm going to be able to see the product image. I'm going to be able to see the discount, timer, impressions, accepted offers, and declined offers. If you wish to edit this offer, you can click the edit button. You can also preview this offer or delete it completely. I'm just going to click this arrow button to minimize this offer for now. Once we're done with the first offer, we can choose what will happen if the customer accepted the first offer on the right side of the funnel. We can either add another upsell or a thank you page, and we can choose what to display next in case the customer declined the first offer. We can either add a downsell, which is another upsell offer, or a thank you page. Let's start 
by adding an upsell in case the customer accepted the previous offer. As you can see, because I've created an offer before, I can see my previous offer and just use this one or just create a new one. I'm going to create the one I just used and I'm going to change a couple of details. Okay, so this is the offer I just created. I'm going to change the title from my first upsell to my second upsell and I'm going to change the title a little bit. And I'm going to change the product from a specific product to a product recommended by Shopify. As you can see, because this is a dynamic product, we're just going to display some skeleton data. But if you choose a specific product, you're going to see the actual details of the product. I'm going to change the timer to something a little bit more time sensitive. Let's give him three minutes for that second offer. And I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close the offer editor and you can now see that the second upsell was added to my funnel. Because the maximum amount of post-purchase one-click upsells is limited to two, I can now either add a thank you page if the offer was accepted or a thank you page if the offer was declined. However, I can display a different thank you page based on the action it took on the previous upsell. Since this is just a tutorial about the funnel editor, I'm just going to add the same thank you page across the entire funnel. So let's just click at the thank you page. And since I don't have any thank you pages created, I'm just going to click the create template. You can either create an empty template from scratch or just use our conversion monster, which is a highly optimized thank you page template for conversions. Just going to click the conversion monster. The next step would be to choose my max discount. And this discount is going to be spread across the thank you page to optimize for conversion. If you change the max discount, you're going to see exactly what's been added to your thank you page and what percentage is going to change. Let's say that the maximum amount of discount I'm willing to offer my customers on the thank you page is 20%. You can see that the discounts are now changed according to my max discount. I'm going to click add and now my thank you page editor is opened on a new pop-up. Again, this is not a tutorial about the thank you page editor. If you wish to learn more about our thank you page editor, just click the help video to learn more. And since this is a fully optimized thank you page, I'm not going to change anything. But just to let you know, reconvert offers a drag and drop interface for your thank you page containing over 16 different widgets. If you wish to learn more about each and every widget, you can just click on it and click the help video section at the top of the settings page of that widget. Now my thank you page is ready. I'm just going to close it for now. And as you can see, the thank you page is now added to my funnel. Now for the sake of the example, let's say that I want to display the exact same thank you page in case someone declined my previous second upsell. I'm going to click on thank you page and I'm going to click my conversion monster. It's now added to my funnel. Now let's say that if someone declines my first upsell, I want to add a downsell, which would be the exact same product, but with a bigger discount. I'm going to use my first upsell. I'm going to change the name to my first downsell. And I'm just going to change the title to something like Obviously, you would like to create offers that are relevant for your store. And in the discount section, I'm just going to change the discount from 20 to 30%. Now you can see that the discounts are already reflected on the product so the customer is going to see that this is a cheaper option for him. And I'm going to change the timer from 5 minutes to 2 minutes because I don't want him to have too much time to think about it. I'm just going to hit save and close this offer editor. As for the thank you pages, again, I'm just going to use the same thank you page. The last step is to add a fallback thank you page. This thank you page will be displayed if for any reason, either from Shopify side or from reconvert side, your post-purchase offers cannot be displayed. This will at least allow you to have a thank you page that is fully optimized for conversions. I'm just going to pick the conversion monster here and I'm going to close it. Now that my funnel is ready, I'm just going to hit the save as draft button. One final thing you need to know about the funnel editor is the experience view. By clicking the expand view, all the offers are going to be expanded, including the trigger, allowing you to get better view of your funnel and performance so that you can improve over time. You can also click it to see a more compact view just to know what's attached to what. And after you double check that everything works and everything is working exactly the way you like, you can just click the publish button. And now reconvert is published on my store. You can see that this is my live default funnel. Basically, this is the funnel that is going to be displayed if none of my other funnels is being triggered to make sure that we always have a funnel to display and optimize for conversion and revenue. If you want to learn more about different statuses of your funnels, just click the back button, head back to the dashboard and click the help video at the top of the dashboard. This is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned how to use your post purchase funnels with reconvert. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them in the comments comment section below and we'll do everything we can to help. Also, we have the live chat support available for you 24-7 on the bottom right corner of the screen. I'll see you later and good luck with reconvert.